judge could decide to say, hey, house arrest or even jail. It could. Couldn't face it could. what that could be. I'm okay with it. I saw one of my lawyers the other day on television saying, oh, no, you don't want to do that to the president. I said, don't, you don't beg for anything. You just, the way it is. It could. It, the judge could decide to say, hey, house arrest or even jail. It could. Couldn't face it could. what Just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting. We'll fight till the end and we'll win because our country's gone to hell. Tonight, Donald Trump is the first former president in U.S. history to be convicted of felony crimes. Good evening. Welcome to Fox 7 News at 10. I'm Alex Michelson. And I'm Christine Devine. The unanimous verdict reached by a New York jury. Trump's legal team says they are now appealing it. We have live team coverage. Marla Tejas is here to explain what this means for the former president who's campaigning for re-election. Fox 11's Gina Silva live in Hawthorne with local reaction. But let's start things off with Marla. Ellis and Christine, it took the jury about 12 hours of deliberating to turn the former president into a convicted felon. I'm a very innocent man. Maintaining his not guilty okay. plea, I'm former President Donald Trump, Trump outside the Manhattan courtroom moments after he was convicted on all 34 felony counts of falsifying business documents to cover up a sexual encounter with adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election. Nearby, some anti-MAGA protesters holding signs saying, lock him up and don the felon. Trump calling the whole process rigged. Yeah, this was done by the Biden administration. The jury of seven men and five women heard 80 hours of testimony from 22 witnesses over the six-week history-making criminal trial that focused on reimbursements paid to Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, for a $130,000 hush money payment to Daniels. Cohen, the prosecution's key witness, the defense called the greatest liar of all time. Cohen, Thursday night on MSNBC. It's accountability. It's exactly what America needs right now. I did my job. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, who first brought the indictment against Trump in April 2023. Our job is to follow the facts and the law without fear or favor. Uh, and that's exactly what we did here. Trump's attorney on Fox News vowing to keep fighting without any regrets. We all did the best that we could, and, and I wouldn't change anything that we did. The President Biden-Harris campaign <laughs> released a statement saying, convicted felon or not, Trump will be the Republican nominee for president. The threat Trump poses to our democracy has never been greater. He is running an increasingly unhinged campaign of revenge and retribution, pledging to be a dictator on day one. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. How this will play out at the ballot box in a presidential matchup that currently has Trump with a slight edge over Biden remains to be seen. Political analyst Dan Schnur with us at 6 says the burden lies with Biden to re-energize younger progressive voters who've soured on him. The question now going forward is whether the Biden campaign can use this verdict as a way of convincing those progressives that, in fact, it's worth their time and effort to turn out in November. Now, Trump is to be sentenced on July 11th. That is four days before the Republican convention, where he is set to receive the GOP nomination officially. And again, his team will appeal today's conviction. And Trump not shy about speaking out about this. No, so he is at home at Trump Tower tonight. He will hold a press conference at 8 a.m. Eastern tomorrow from Trump Tower. Yeah, President Biden has not spoken about this on camera and so far doesn't have any plans to. Thank you so much. All right, a lot of questions about this unprecedented moment in U.S. history. Our FoxLA.com team put together the top three questions being asked to us online. So we want to take a moment to try to answer those. Question number one, will Trump go to prison? The answer, we don't know. His sentencing set for July 11th, as Marla just said. It's up to the judge and the judge alone. Judge Juan Mershon could sentence him to the maximum, which would be four years behind bars. But that's unlikely, given the fact that Trump hasn't been convicted of any other crimes. He could get probation, house arrest, or community service. Now to question number two. Can Trump still run for president? This one is simple. Yes. Nothing in the Constitution prevents criminals from running, even if they're behind bars. Back in 1920, socialist labor leader Eugene Debs got nearly 4% of the presidential vote from behind bars. Question number three, can Trump still vote for himself in November? Likely, yes. Although Trump was convicted in New York, he technically lives and votes in Florida. 
Florida law defers to the state where the conviction occurred, which is in New York, where the voting rights say that uh, basically you're only prevented from voting if you're a felon currently incarcerated. That's highly unlikely to be the case in November due to likely appeals stopping any sentence from going into effect anytime soon. Christine? Well, Alex, tonight there's plenty of reaction to the Trump verdict from people all across Southern California. Yeah, so so there we go, man. So, um, yeah, July 11th will be his date of he will he be either get probation or will he be going to prison and everything. And so, yeah, it's just getting crazy, 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 crazy here in the United States and everything. So we don't know what's going to happen, but we shall see. So I'm going to start with you, Hakeem. You know, do you believe that Donald Trump and July 11th do you feel like he might get sentenced to prison or he might get probation? No, um, I, I think this is going to be caught up in appeals up for years. Um, likely his age. I've seen cases like this. People, even at this age, likely don't get lengthy jail time. He's over 70 something years old. He's very popular. Um, and even if he did, he'll be PC'd. But I don't see that likely happening. Shout out to the lovely and the mom mother, the lovely and the talks of Vincent is also in the building. Happy Monday to you. And also shout out to No Chaser is also in the building. What's going on, big dog? Uh, what a great day to be in America. Uh, you have a um, person that's convicted of being a felon and still running for president. Is it show you how Amer America democracy and see how it runs and see how it favors the other counterparts? Because people say he's a felon, and yet he's still able to run for president. Do y'all forget that we in America? America is run by whites. They can do whatever they want. They created a law, and this is the law they wanted to go by. So who is we to come in and tell them to do something otherwise? This is what they want. And not only that, this is great. This is a great marketing tool for Donald Trump, because guess what? Now people are going to say, my president is truly is black. Because he, remember, he got a felony, and he's running for president. So that means you can do all things if you get the right people on your side. So like I, like I told people, Trump is going to win. He's going to win big. When I mean he's going to win big, God should not even, don't even worry about it. Even a lot of people say I'm not voting. It doesn't really matter. I think the majority of the, the majority of the people in the United States are voting for Trump. I'm just being honest. He His campaign, is they going to use this? And I'm telling you, my you, Jordan Hakeem, after the conviction, he was able to raise $52 million. That fast. $52 million. People, if you sleep, then you made to be sleep because y'all just not paying attention to the tool. Trump is going to be the president. I'm sorry. I don't see nobody else in the uh, Republican Party coming in and trying to overtake Trump. It's not going to happen. They love Trump. The media love Trump. By him, Trump being with this messiness is bringing on so many ratings and all over like it used to be back with during the pandemic, doing the same thing again. So they're using him once again. To bring back the media, so yeah, you, like um, was it John Morant? John Morant just said, "Get your passport, do what you got to do." But Trump ain't going nowhere. Trump is here to stay. He's gonna be our president. So y'all might well just get back, sit back, and relax. I'm just gonna find out who's gonna be his vice president. I really think it's gonna be Ron, Ron DeSantis in Florida. But let's Ooh, see, let's see, but let, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Shout out to the lovely Bobby Brown for being in the building. But High King, our president is black. <laughs> I, I would have been happy if this would have been. I'm not gonna lie. If this was Barack Obama, I would have like, oh hell yeah, this is really. But they gave it to Trump, so my you fell a felon now going for president. This has never happened in the history of the United States at all. You can say that again. They making him well, a ahead. martyr. They is. Yes. <laughs> people love him. I keep telling people that when you hate somebody, you actually do love them. People love him. They love him. They they love the Kachiki when he talked. They love what they they love the, the, the ready to come out of his mouth. My he the only president that said the the, the, the America, America United States of America is going to hell. No president never said that. That dude gangster as hell. That dude is gangster. And that's why people love him. I keep telling people that. They love him. Go ahead, George. Yeah, man. This is the most interesting time to be in to be alive to see what's going on in the United States of America. You know, I'm an independent voter, you know, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all about, you know, what, you know, what are you gonna do for, you know, black people, what, what they could do for us as black people and everything. And so far, I don't see anything. So yeah, I might, I might not vote, 
that's just me. But we'll see. I might change my mind. We'll see what's up. But anyways, go back to Donald Trump. Um, yeah, he's he's got convicted. You know, we won't know till July um, July 11. But you know, but the thing is, if you look at the you know, you look at all the you know the, the, the charges and everything, they're they're not really heavy charges. They're like mis like misdemeanor charges and everything. You know, so I kind of agree. I can you know they can compel this uh, appeal this and everything. And I think it take up to four years and everything. So he does appeal it, you know, he can put it all the way until it, until he gets elected. And then, you know, he can, uh, and then after his term is over, term is over, he can revisit his case and everything. Or we won't find out until, you know, you know, if he gets progression and everything, which, 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 which Donald Trump lawyers might have and everything, it, he might get probation and he might run again. I could just see that, you know, it's, I mean, all you know, New York trying their best, Georgia was trying their best. I remember Colorado, they were trying to get them with the voting ballot and everything in, in, uh, in Colorado and everything. And it's like, what we're seeing right now, a lot of people in, in America, you know, back in 2016, there was a lot of people that like them. Now we're here in 2024, there are people that are really Trump supporters. If you go to these um, some of these cities as like red red cities and everything, they love this man so much. They be dancing, they be singing, singing. Oh my, Donald Trump, he's gonna win. Oh, he's gonna win. He's our savior. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. I'm like, oh my God, man, he, he got these these people hypnotizing their brain, <laughs> hypnotizing something like that. You know, they love. Him. And the and thing is, Donald Trump knows how to entertain. He's been doing this for 40 years, 40, 40, 45 years. This man knows what he's doing. He, he, he even said this back in, I think, in the early 90s about, if I were to be president, I'll be the Republicans. You know, the reason that that is because Republicans are kind of stupid and everything. And you can kind of talk, you could, it's like, he, he could talk good to you. You talk to good people who are weak and doing everything and how you feel about America. And, and the majority of, 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 of um, Republicans, and not just Republicans, he turns he turned Democrats into Republicans too. Mm -hmm. Yep. A lot of black he turned, turned Democrats into Republicans. Not right, really here in 2023, 2024, because he's been in office and everything. And they see how the economy is and everything. So if I, I do agree with you, you know, it takes a while to boost up the economy, it takes years and everything. I, I agree to that and everything. But the thing is it's like Trump knows how to make you feel good. Makes you forget him. He makes you forget about what's going on in, in the economy. You know, he, he makes you feel good. Joe Biden, you know, he's he's not that. You know, he's very very boring. You know, he you know, uh, like Donald Trump got to call him, call him sleepy dope, sleepy Joe, and every day. And what we see, you know, and the thing is with uh, with uh, Joe Biden, you know, we see a lot of stuff he does negatively and everything. You know, giving money to to Ukraine, like I said earlier, giving money to the you and everything. And you know, not really trying to push, you know, help the economy growth and everything. You know, we it's like, you know, we want to see stuff happen overnight, but we do want to see a little something, just a little boost of something and say, hey, you know, that's hope for the next year, six months to a year that, you know, we might have pockets, you know, have our pockets might be found and everything. But yeah, I, I came around it. I can see Donald Trump, even with the, you know, whole counts and everything, his um, he's been guilty and everything. And the thing is, it's not over. You know, we don't know what else might go on and everything. You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's done. You know, I think other states, maybe Georgia or somebody will try to put this man into jail or not get him to vote and everything. But the thing is, it's like he has a lot of supporters um, now that he ever had back in 2016. He was voting and everything. So it's going to be this election right here. This is going to be the most entertaining, the most Wowing the most. It's gonna be something, you know. It's, it's going down in history books, in American history. So well, not only that, but I could be wrong too. I heard that um that this year debate ain't gonna be nobody. There's no, it's not gonna be no audience presence. That's true. It's That's gonna true. be, it's gonna be uh Trump and Joe Biden themselves. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This thing, y'all don't understand. See, people, people fail to realize we live in the day of the media. One thing about um, see, y'all gotta study history. Oh, uh, I ain't gonna say his full name, but oh, uh, Elof, you know, Elof, you know, from yeah, Germany. Yeah. The guy, I can't say his full name because I don't want to yeah. get the channel uh, demonetized. They were saying the same thing about him. He understand how the media works. 
Trump understand how the media works. He know what can he do and what can he not do. His team is doing a wonderful job putting him in front of the people and showing that, look, this man is innocent. This man, look, when his trial happened in New York, everybody that was in the juror was biased. They already don't like him. So it's not going to be a fair trial. That's what they're going to use for his defense. I'm telling you, that's what they're going to use. They're gonna be like, everybody that was in the juror, there was not, it was not a fair juror. Everybody, everybody that was in the juror don't like him anyway. So they're going to automatically find him to be guilty. So that's why I say this is going to be a pill. And mind you, but the, the time frame for it to be done with the pill, the presidential election already already happened. It's too late. There you go. It's all a game. That was say people got to pay attention to the time to the to the clues of what exactly what is going on. And not only that, also people got to wear, especially as black people, sometimes good to stay away from black white folks' business. I learned that from a wise Woo! man. Stay away from white folks' business. When they out there doing their thing. Get in your bag, you Rooney. You right. just sit back, relax, and then enjoy the show. That was it. I'm enjoying the show. Too. This is their I, country. I, 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 Tasha, she, she got a Damn, phone. baby. I'm doing the same thing. It's my first time to my car phone. Yeah, sit back and enjoy the show, watch the debate, have a good time. You all, you know, I can't enjoy we're gonna do our commentary, and that's it. I'm not gonna say anything else because these MAGA fans, don't get me wrong, he has a lot of fans. I'm telling you, this thing could get ugly very, very, very quickly. Now that shout out to Lord Spike Projects in the building, and also Miss Reed is in the, it's hey, also Ms. in the Reed. building. Yeah, <laughs> but go ahead, I can't go, I can't go, go in this bag. Go ahead. I'm just saying, hey, you just took the, the words out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, re regardless, of who, yeah, regardless of who we vote for, how are we going to benefit from it? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the you're only 13%. Of, yeah, yeah. you only 13%. You know what I'm saying? The lesser of two evils. You know what I mean? This is why I said let's vote on policy and not based on who's up there. So it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because sooner or later, if, if things get too worse, I'm going to Canada. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Natasha, <laughs> did you give me citizenship? <laughs> now that I heard Mexico got a, uh, I heard they got a female president in Mexico. Mexico got a, new, a female president. So it's like other worlds are doing other things. People are just blinded because they focus on Trump too much. Yeah. There's a lot of things that's going on in this world that's going on. And like Sophia always say, which is true, keep your eyes open because you never know. They always using things for a distraction. We mentioned it a lot. They, uh, Sophia said she moved to Mexico. <laughs> Sophia, we'll move to Mexico too. I'll come with you too. Would you give me citizenship, Sophia? <laughs> you know I'm gonna be an illegal there. Would you give me citizenship? <laughs> I'm an illegal here now, so <laughs> but but she like no no too Mexico. Everybody going to Mexico, they got a yep. woman president now, so yeah. hey, me, I'm you two hours away from Mexico. Me, you, in Cabo with a pina colada. Mm. Oh, mm. Uh, so uh, the time you say, "Come on up, <laughs> let us hear what how five, six, seven babies, Hakeem." I said, "Come I'm, on up." Listen, I need citizenship. Hello. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, don't think, I won't get rid. I won't get rid. I'll get rid of my United States citizenship. Listen, I'll do a you, dual citizenship. You need to apply for yeah. it. I do a duel. I can't. I can't just give up my United States citizenship. Oh, I can't and, do and that. A, and a lot. Of I'll be. In, I'll be. Yeah, I'll stay in America. Just take me to Hawaii. We, I, I just need to be in the island. I'll be good. Yeah. No, but um, I, I'm telling you, they going to use his team is going. They're going to use this to the max. I'm. I watch what. I, watch what I tell you. I can't watch what I tell you. Joe Biden. Yeah. I'm telling you, they. The people. You know, they even say this year a lot of people don't even want to run. No, cause they know Trump is gonna, he's gonna destroy it. It's just like it's, it's always. <laughs> I will be shocked if he lose. I probably, I will be shocked. And I think if that happens, the world, the United States, will be at war with one another. They will. Well, that's the case. Make sure everybody in that chat and here, make sure you have your guns ready to protect yourself. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> they say every time Trump, every time it's going to Trump election. Um, like heading to the election, they say the gun, the gun prices always go up. Like people go in and buy guns, they always do that. Like it just is what it is. But I, I really, I think it will do that. Or oh, Trump go to jail, it will be a riot at the jail. It, people will riot for this man. People in love with this man. Hey, power of the media. I'm telling you, that's dangerous. It. We need, we need more samurai swords, a couple of nunchucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you know they because remember he, he, because I can't remember he tell the people what they actually want to hear. That's the yeah. thing. That will make him dangerous. And my, you know, yeah. me and my friend talked about that a lot. He was like, Ronnie will make today. He tell, he literally tell the people what they actually want to hear. The economy is bad. We gotta fix it. This guy sucks. We gotta get him out of there. Like yeah. he, he does it all. And the media right. love him. And I want to say too. And if he get back, this, back into this office, all his enemies that try to attack him. Oh yeah, they done. <laughs> you done. You done. You try. Done. You try real bad. Not getting in the office, and when he gets the office, he. I know that man has a list. It's like who I'm getting, who I'm getting, who I'm getting. He's going for it. 